Mr. Vice President. Cuba participated in the UPR process uh, on a very important uh, landmark anniversary in its history, 50 years after the victory of the Cuban Revolution. Cuba's participation in the UPR has been a model of dynamism and active engagement. Here, Sri Lanka would like to salute the role played by Ambassador Juan Antonio Fernandez Palacios, who has been a militant combatant and a field commander in the Battle of Ideas in the Human Rights Council. He has combined maturity, sagacity with militancy and fought against any and every attempt to use human rights selectively and hypocritically as an instrument. He has fought to make sure that the Human Rights Council is a level playing field for everyone and that human rights are patrimony of us all. Mr. President, the Council uh, has full faith in the abilities of his worthy successor, but may I say that we will be diminished by his absence from Geneva uh, next month. Mr. President, Cuba has discharged its responsibilities under conditions of extreme external hostility, pressure and siege. This long-standing and unreasonable siege has not prevented Cuba from being a model of generosity and altruism. Cuba has not only been a model of the practice of social and collective rights within its territory, it has also been the enabler of the enjoyment of such rights throughout the developing countries. May I say that Cuba's contribution is not limited to collective rights because, Mr. President, Imagine the exercise of the rights of the individual when one who did not have sight has been given sight through Cuba's operation Milagro and one who was illiterate has learned to read through uh, the program of Yes, I Can, the literacy program. Therefore, Sri Lanka salutes Cuba's human rights uh, contribution and performance.